hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have covered that how we can read input register data of our modbus tcp ip device in the node read okay using modbus read node now in this video we will see how we can read the coil status of our modbus tcp ip device in the node read using the same modbus read node okay so i can drag and drop this modbus read node here okay and uh, we can configure this Morbus read node to read our coil status. Now here is our Morbus simulated device, okay, which is Morbus TCP device. So we have to provide the details of this Morbus TCP device in this Morbus read node. So unit ID is one, as you can see here, and we are going to read the coil. So read coil, okay. And the function code is one because we are going to read the coil status. The starting address is zero and the quantity we want to read is 8 okay so i have this 8 coils so that's why i want to read the 8 quantity and uh, the pole rate is 1 second so 1 second and here is the um, morbus server details or you can say morbus device details so our device is running on 127.0.0.1 with port number 502 which is my simulated device okay so if you have any physical device if you are working in the industry if you are working in the field then you have to provide the uh, ip address of that field device okay field mode best device and port number of that device okay so i hope this thing is clear now our uh, read node is configured properly now we can press done and we can add debug node to display the data in the debug window so here is my first debug node here is my second one and here is my third one okay we are going to display the data of our first coil on the node status also we are going to display the data of our last coil in the node status okay so that's it done and we can deploy it okay you can see false false true okay so this first coil is auto simulating okay so it will change the state at every two second and uh, you can see the second last coil is true okay so you can see second last coil is true and right now if i change the status of the last coil here then you will see that change here you can see it's true here also you can see it's true okay so this is how you can use this uh, modbus read node to read the coil status of your modbus tcp ip device and then after you can you know create a dashboard and do whatever you want to do with this data so i hope this thing is clear that how you can you know read the uh, coil status of your Morbus TCP IP device in the node thread using this Morbus read node. Now, if you have any question or any doubt, then you can always put your questions and doubt in the comment section. Also, you can ping me on WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, anywhere, and you can ask your questions and doubts. Okay, so I hope this thing is clear. Okay, so let's meet in the next video. And in the next video, we are going to cover that how we can read the input status input coil status okay so instead of coil status we are going to read the input status of our modbus tcp ip device so stay tuned for the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you